Welcome to the third video in our Quick Start series. If you're ready to start building pages in iRise, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll start visualizing the functional requirements for our user creates new profile scenario. Double clicking any of the widgets in our scenario will take us to that component in our project. Let's open the create profile screen. The create profile screen will contain a simple form for capturing our new users basic identifying information. Our stakeholders have decided that the only information we need to create the profile on the system is the user's first and last name, a gender, and an email address. We'll use a standard text widget to create our page title. We could drag the text widget from our widget toolbar, but it's much easier to double click the page and just start typing. With the text widget still selected, we can apply the heading 1 style using the style drop down in the formatting toolbar. Now let's add four text widgets to serve as labels for our user input fields. Again, we'll double click and start typing, but this time we'll use the Control Enter shortcut to create each new text widget beneath the one above it. If we click through each of our new labels, we can see that each of them was automatically assigned a name in the Properties panel. As we'll see in a moment, this feature only applies to text widgets. Our labels are aligned perfectly along their left edge, but we'd like to have a little more space between them vertically. To do this, we'll move the bottom widget down about 40 pixels, lasso the four widgets to select them, right-click, and then distribute the widgets vertically. Finally, to indicate that the email address is a required field, let's apply a bold font to that label. We'll use text input widgets to capture the first three values, dragging the first one to the right of our first name label, and then using Control enter to create the next two. Unlike text widgets, the names assigned to user input widgets are nonspecific. To make sure we can easily identify these widgets later, we'll want to give each one a descriptive name now. Names of user inputs should be enclosed in square brackets to make it clear that they will be used to capture data. Now let's fix our layout. Again, we'll use the Distribute Vertically command to ensure even spacing. We'll use a Select widget to capture the user's gender. The Select widget is used to create drop-down menus or list boxes on your simulation. After we position our widget, we'll name it and then add the selection items in the Properties panel. We'll leave the top row blank so the field will be empty when the page loads. The width of the select widget is determined by the longest selection item. The last item we'll add to our form is the submit button. Again, we'll drag the widget from the widget toolbar to the page. To change the button label, simply double click the button and type the label. In our first iteration of this scenario, we are going to keep things relatively simple. When a reviewer clicks the submit button, We'll navigate to the new profile confirmation page and display the data captured here. The easiest way to add navigation to an existing page in your project is to drag the destination page from the directory panel to the canvas. The canvas is the gray area surrounding the page in your workspace. To connect the widget on your page to the action on the canvas, just drag and drop. By default, this creates an on-click event. When the reviewer clicks the submit button, our simulation will navigate to the confirmation page. Before we test this in the browser, let's add something to the confirmation page. Double-clicking the link widget will take us there. We'll quickly add a page title, apply the Heading 1 style, and then go back to our Create Profile page using the Back button. Now let's test our page. We'll use the green Launch button, which opens IRS Reader in our default web browser. Our page looks good. Now let's test the navigation. Perfect. As you can see, visualizing basic functional requirements, including simple page navigation, is very easy in iRise. In the next video in our Quick Start series, we'll take our simulation up a notch or two with some simple data flow. Thanks for watching.